Welcome back to the JDM Workshop guys and today I'm going to show you how to snorkel your 2016 Honda Recon ES. So let's jump right into it shall we? For starters the stock 20, 2016 Honda Recon snorkel comes up right in here and it sits right in there. Now obviously that means you can only go about yay deep which isn't very far on this thing. Granted I do have this quad lifted with a one and a half inch high lifter lift kit and some generic eBay uh, three inch wheel spacers. It's a uh, one and a half each tire. But the stock, stock intake comes up here and it goes in right down there. As you can see, so what you're going to need to put a snorkel on your Honda Recon, or at least how I did it, is you're going to need some 2 inch PVC pipe. Um, you're going to need some 2 inch PVC pipe. I went down to Home Depot and I got 10 feet of this 2 inch PVC pipe. It was $6. So that was a pretty good deal. And I actually still have a ton of it left over. So you didn't need that much, but that's just how much I bought for this build. Now, you're also going to need two, uh, yeah, two 45s. So you're gonna have one little piece of pipe come out, a 45, then another 45 right there, piece of pipe, 45, and another 45 up under there. Now after you run that 45, you're going to come under here, you're going to put a couple 90s, move it up and then drill your hole and you come out roughly right about here if you have the same uh, length of pipe. Now I don't know the length off the top of my head, but I could have run it out here, I could have run it up here, but I just chose right there. See, when I put everything together, I ended up having to drill another hole. And then you just run your pipe up, put an end on it. But now, if you want to do this properly, recons don't like having a lot of air. Uh, if you actually take the snorkel or the stock intake snorkel off, they run incredibly lean and they don't like it at all. So what I did, so I went and I got some of these plugs. And all I did was take a step bit and I drilled a hole through the same size as the stock intake and it's like an inch. So, drilled a hole in it and it's literally the same as it was when I bought it. There's no differences and everything's glued together so it doesn't leak. Now another thing you're gonna need to do is get yourself some of this tubing. This is just cheap tubing. I believe I got off of Amazon and I ran it up where the original went just under the fender and then up the snorkel to the top with a cap on the end of it. Now to snorkel these you also need to run your diff vent lines up which I have not done yet and I haven't took in this thing that deep so I'm not worried about it at the moment. But you're going to need to get some, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Y piece, I already have them ordered, put both ends into it and run one single piece up, uh, one single line. And over here, this is your carb vent tube, and I just have this stuck in the end of it at the moment. And I'm going to bring this up along with it up here. But that's not all you have to do. There is a crankcase breather up under there. It is 14 millimeter tubing that comes up. I bought a coupler, which is going to go on. Then the tube's going to run up in the exact same place this is, and I'm going to have the breather up here. So that way that doesn't go underwater. That will basically render this thing snorkeled completely, so none of the, you know, yuck yucks can get inside the motor. The only thing that isn't going to be waterproof at the moment is going to be this air box. There's a few ways to do it. I think I'm just going to do some grease around it because that's what I did last time. And I took it pretty deep last time and it seemed to be fine. So I'm not going to worry about it. So That seems fine to me. Now as you can see, since my quad sits higher, uh, I do have the lift. And I need to warn you guys, 
that high lifter kit that comes with it, the rear bushing that they tell you to put in it, or the spacer, isn't really big enough. And this thing is a pain in the butt to put together in the rear. So, just a little warning there. They also give you these spacer things. I don't have them, but you're supposed to put them in your front shock to make your front shock stiffer. And honestly, it would ruin the quad if it was stiffer. It's so nice the way it is now with a plush suspension. Plus with it w lifted and wider, you do, it counteracts everything and it's really comfortable to ride. So that's kind of my 2016 lifted, widened and snorkeled Honda Recon. So I hope you all have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.